Hello lovely people. Today we are going to be making a gorgeous really light lotion. So I thought look I'm going to take you along with me to show you exactly what I'm doing. So let's get going. I'll tell you exactly what I'm doing and um, we're going to make something absolutely beautiful. lotion is quite easy really but there's a few steps to it so I've already done the first step I have not turned my little stove on this is just a little electric one that I actually use when I'm testing and making things so in the first one here and this is a double boil so what I have in the first one is just my water portion and then in this one here this is my oil portion and the white bits of flakes that you can see that is the emulsifying wax and F that I'm going to use and behind me you can see uh, you know just some little bottles there and those bottles are a couple of things I'll talk about and I'll show you because they really do make your lotions next level so we're going to turn this stove on we're going to see exactly what's going to happen and then I'm going to talk you through exactly what I'm doing all right, everyone, I'm going to show you a few things that we're going to do. So here to make it easy, I've already measured the water face and I've measured the oil face to make it super, super, super simple. Now I'm going to give you the recipe as I go along and I've got my little trusty book in my hand just so that I can show you exactly what I'm doing. So in this bit here, which is my water phase, and this is a 400 gram batch as well, everyone, we are going to add 322 grams of distilled water. It does need to be distilled water. You can use floral waters and lots of other things to make this really beautiful if you want, but we're gonna keep this one nice and simple. Then we're going to add eight grams of vegetable glycerin. You can get that from from so many places um, so don't worry about that you can get that super easy and then we're going to add two green grams of this which is beautiful um, organic green tree extract it's known to have quite a soothing effect on the skin in lotion so that's what I use and I really love it another thing that you could use is hydrolyzed oats and there's many many extracts that you can use as rose extract chamomile extract I mean you know it's endless there's so many that you can use you can also infuse oils into the oil phase but this one like I said we want to keep this simple so this is just a simple um, recipe but it's really beautiful you don't need to add absolutely everything in to make it fantastic and these elements that I'm adding in are really what you would see in some really high-end products so um, high-end products do not have 40 different ingredients because they're trying to keep it simple to make something amazing uh, so that is our face here we've already turned the stove on on both of these on medium um, and we want to just turn on until this melts down it's more important that we're going to melt down everything that is in the oil phase and once the two of them have melted down then we're going to mix them now I don't have butters in the oil phase now the reason for this is if you add butters it's going to make it thicker so we're not going to add any butters we're just going to have some liquid oils in here no coconut um, oil no 76 coconut which is your one that uh, when it solidifies it goes hard this is the liquid coconut I'm using in this but let me tell you what I'm going to be putting in this one so in here I've got 50 grams of fractionated coconut that's the liquid coconut that you can get you can get it from your shopping center as well then we're going to be adding in six grams of um uh nf wax so emulsifying wax i had to think of what it was then there's so many different ones that you can add in i've used so many different ones but that's a standard one i wanted to do a standard recipe just to let you know what we're doing and then i've also got four grams of beautiful jojoba oil in here and that is my go-to oil i love it but you know if you use jojoba oil and your fractionated coconut you're going to get a really good lotion um, and this one when we pour it you're going to notice it looks really thin you need to give it about 48 hours and then it will be the consistency you want I've already made one so at the end I'll give you a demo of what it looks several days after um, as well and then of course we're going to pour it in we're going to mix it in two colors to give you an idea of how to two-tone this as well which is super super easy and it will look like a um, watercolor effect so that's 
what we want, isn't it? And then at the end, I've got some beautiful vitamin E, some natural vitamin E that I'm going to add into that when it cools down. And then I do have my preservative. You must have a preservative, super important. And this product here, if you don't want a silicon, you don't have to, but this will really make it glide stunningly um, on your skin. And that is used in many, many very high-end luxury products. So it's called... Um, Demexicone. I'm probably saying it wrong and I'm sorry if I do, but that is what it is. So hopefully you can see that um, on the screen. So, so like I said, we have done all that, haven't we? We have got everything looking beautiful. You can add aloe vera, you can add so many extra things, but as I said, I want to make this as natural and easy as I can for you. So it is on now. Now you can put this double board directly onto the water like I've done. If you're worried about putting a Pyrex, because it must be a heat safe container, you can put a piece of silicon under it. Like I actually have some silicon that I've actually bought on mats. So you can get lots of different mats like the macaroon mats and things like that. And you can actually put that underneath if you're worried. I don't think I have a piece here. Otherwise, I would actually um, show you. I'll have a look anyway later and see if I can find one. So now we're going to let that do its thing. Of course, I have sanitized all of that. I'm going to re-sanitize my bench because I put the book down on it and I'll sanitize this again um, when we're ready to do the bottling and things like that. And I'm sorry it doesn't look too beautiful here, but I promise you it is all organized chaos um, and I just have a few containers and then we're going to add a mica for a color just to show you But of course you don't have to you could use clay But the clays are going to thicken this up and the whole idea of this is to keep it nice and um, lean So anyway, that's what we're going to be doing today. So we've done that bit don't we I'm going to let this just you know, like I said do its thing So I'm just going to turn this one up just a tiny bit because the emulsified needs a bit more don't rush it everyone just be slow and um, do this nice and slow. So anyway, we're going to let this do its thing and then I'm going to bring you back when this is all ready. All right, while everything is happening on that side, I thought, look, I'm going to show you what I'm doing on this side. So I have these little bottles here. That they come in these bags. Um, I wish they didn't because it's kind of a bit of a waste of a plastic bag. But anyway, this is the bottle. Don't they look beautiful? This is from New Directions in Australia. I'm pretty sure there's New Directions in lots of other countries as well. And they're probably the same. This is called a Boston Squat Jar. So that you know, and it holds roughly about 250 um, grams. So, um, and what we're going to do today is we want to just make this look gorgeous. So it's really going to only fill one and a bit, but I'm just going to use one because I know my daughter is going to use the leftover bit because she already took the first jar that I did. So what you need to do with this is you do need to do a water bleach solution and sort of rinse this out um, because that helps to sanitize it or you can sanitize it with, you know, um, your alcohol base. So you choose what you like, do a bit of research on what you personally um, like for yours. And I just use a 70, 30 percent solution, which basically is 70 percent distilled water and then it is 30 percent um, of your um bleach or you can use a bleach solution or you can also do a 70 30 um, of rubbing alcohol and water so but you just choose what you like um, like I said it's a bit of research just choose what works for you because if you don't do that then germs can get in here and mold can grow and we definitely don't want that so anyway like I said so that's what we've got we're going to organize all of that I pop that down so that I can show you exactly what it's going to look like and they're going to look so beautiful um, and I've been so busy I'm sorry that I haven't done many videos for you friends but I promise I am doing some behind the scenes it's just with the conference coming up it's been absolutely crazy um, and of course you can come over and join me on patreon you can join as a $7.50 member to get my recipes uh, but lots of them I do give on here but if you want the recipes over there they get converted into PDFs um, as well and it does help my little channel keep going but anyway for now we've talked about that I'm going to bring you back when all this is melted down and we're ready to go 
right everyone we are back so i've taken these off the stove and you can see here this is my water and this is my oil to be honest it really doesn't matter which way you do it but i usually pour the oil in first so you can see straight away it is going to try and do its little thing and um try and become lotion which is very exciting isn't it so we're going to do that now i've already popped these up here which have been sanitized and um basically we just want to mix this and like i said this is a test one anyway and let's blend this up now you only want to do little bursts at a time as well and uh, you know don't stir it up too much so usually you do three or four every you know 10 or 15 seconds, um, several goes, and then you're going to stir it over a long period of time until it cools down. So this is what exactly what we're going to do. So that's basically it now i know that it looks very liquidy which it definitely is but this is going to firm up um, over time we don't want to add everything in yet if you were going to add one color you could add it in now but i'm not i'm going to separate this into two colors so i'm going to let this cool down a bit so it's a bit beautiful and then i'm going to show you what we're going to do with the colors we can't add the preservative and everything else yet because it's not cool enough uh, and most preservatives need to be under a certain temperature before you can add them in so we're going to use optifin plus today many people will use that or um germal i think it's germal plus i've used that many times too but um optifin i can get really easy um and i can pick it up from my supplier uh, and it's worked really well for me so that's the one generally that i will um use but you do have to be within the right temperature range now like i said we are going to let this one just do its little job and i'll bring you back and show you in a moment <laughs> All right, everyone, it is cool now. So in here is my fragrance oil. Let's just pop that in. I've already measured it and I have already put in um, uh, the Optifin Plus. So I've already put the preservative in as well. Now you can see it's very liquidy. Don't worry about that. It will get thicker and this is meant to be a very light cream anyway. Um, so you've got to leave it a couple days to see that it's going to do that so now okay so now also i want to just put some vitamin e um i'm just going to put a drop you, you know look honestly it's just like um you know it's it'd be no more than one percent so a very tiny bit probably not even one percent half a percent maybe um and it's just going to add a really nice bit you can blend this again if you want to and the last thing that I am going to be putting in is this gorgeous thing, which is this Dimethicon that I said, and it's the same thing. It's only going to be about one gram because that lid holds two grams and um, it's half a lid. So, um, but you know, you can put more or less. You don't have to be fussy about it. And now I'm going to blend it one more time. Then we're going to separate it and put our colors in. Now this has taken several hours because I've been back and forward watching Tally. And now it is pretty cool, this one. So now what we're going to do is we have two containers and what I actually want to do is pour half in half so that we can add a bit of a colour and then we're going to pour it into the jars so I can show you what to do. So I already got my sanitised jars here. So we're just literally going to do half in one and half in the other. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be exact. This is just so that I can get some colours happening um and like i said we don't need to be too fussy about it now that i'm making a big mess here so now we are going to be adding in some colors so i've just got some mica here just a pink in this one and i've got this little tiny little spatula thing so look you don't want any more than that you know it's just a really small amount if you want to do it colorful you can but people may not like it being super colorful um anyway so that's all i want to put in that one if you do it and you feel like it's not enough you can 
add more in. Maybe we'll add a weeny bit more. Just a little bit, nothing too much. And I am going to just blend it just to make sure it's all good. And then in this one, I want to just put a bit of purple, um, just a tiny bit, even though I spilled it on the bench. Same thing. Let's just add that in here. And when you blend it, it's going to be more colourful. But of course, if if it's not colourful enough, you're not going to see this kind of whole look if you want to do a colourful um you know jar as i said before so we will just mix this up like i said we're going to get our blender in here let's just give it a bit of a blend and literally that's it and then this one Now, if you're one of these people that wants a super bright one, um, you can blend it more. You can add more pinks in. But I've just got two colours that are very similar. I actually think maybe we'll add a tiny bit more in the pink because it's not very pink at all. It um, looks quite white. And this is what I mean. You know, you can see the amount I'm putting in is such a small amount. All right, so we do have our pink. You can see it better there. And maybe we will add a bit more purple, just to be sure. Um, and like I said, this has to do with what you like. It's no, no wrong or right. And it is late at night because we have been watching a movie and I just thought, look, I'll just leave this to do its thing while I'm watching a movie. But I didn't want to leave it here all night. Um, I wanted to put it in its container. Um, you don't want the pink to be just sitting um, not mixed in or the purple not mixed in and if you can kind of see the color now I know I look like a crazy scientist so now we have this which is our last bit we want to do and um, you can literally just add bits of pink bits of um, purple now because it's very liquidy it's going to take time um, so this is all I do, you know, just do a bit of that colour, then just add a little bit of purple and it's just kind of going to do a bit of a bit of a few things, isn't it, you know. Um, if it was thicker, uh, you know, you would see lines of either one, but for me, I'm just going to like do it this way. There's no right or wrong um, and whatever happens, happens, doesn't it? Um, and then that is pretty much it doesn't it look so cute um you know like i said if if you let it sort of um do its thing a bit more um get a bit thicker then it will be much easier and you can see i've still got quite a bit but there wouldn't be enough to do one whole one so i'm going to leave this um for my daughter because i know that she'll love it now i've actually got one of these lids which isn't a pump it's just like this little serum lid so you can have whichever you want if you want it like a pump lid you can put one in and it looks this kind of um color if i had have left it longer it would actually um, be different colors so that you'd be able to do the color um but like i said there's no right or wrong it doesn't really matter it's just because it's very fluid and i'm just going to pour that in there um and i love it so we're going to see in the morning how this turns out and i am going to bring you back to show you how thick it's got in the morning um so that's just what i've got left in here so we're just going to cover that um for the night i just have that that i was using before so i'm going to cover that and then like i said this has its lid on we are going to also in the morning i'll close that lid we are going to um I put on its label in the morning so that I can show you what this uh, actually looks like. So let's come back in the morning. Okay, everyone, I wanted to bring you back to show you this is the end result. And uh, this is a little bit of a fail because it is way, way too liquidy. So I'm holding the phone um, as I'm filming to show you this. So if you can kind of see how liquidy it is, it's very liquidy indeed. So I'm definitely going to have to up 
uh, my emulsifying wax in it to thicken it up a little bit and this is what I mean you know when you're making these kind of things you need to add more so I think for this particular mix I should have added another three grams um, of the you know the thickener so and the thickener of course is your I mean there's many things that make it thick but the main thing is the emulsifying wax NF so for now look everything else came together it was simply just not enough emulsifying wax so this is the thing and this is why we need to double check on all of these things but the color does look kind of pretty i guess and if it's thicker it will definitely give you more um, of a waterfall kind of color effect but anyway i will have to go and remake this one of course but this is why we test like i said but i hope you've enjoyed the video make sure you give me a thumbs up and i will see you friends on the next video Bye.